But don't forget that, you know, for strata managers, property managers often have a very large part to play because you're managing properties that are in strata complexes or community title com complexes. So you need to have some information around this. Whilst you're not actually doing the jobs that are fitting into that, you are managing properties on behalf of clients who are clients of the strata manager and your clients because they're your landlords and they're the strata manager's lot owners. So, you know, you both need to be aware of what's going on within those strata complexes. So, you know, we're always looking at, at different pieces of uh, legislation and case law and all, and all of those sorts of things. So if we have a look at some of the changes that have come about, and some of this is now because of COVID. Okay, so we've got some electronic voting. So, you know, okay, you know, restrictions on gatherings are being eased. But, you know, and there's 20 people in a in inside or 20 people in somebody's home or, you know, it's the four metre rule, depending on, you know, where you are or if the meetings are being held outside in the garden or, you know, there's still requirements around that social distancing and the number of people who can meet. So it's a significant issue for the larger schemes. So to provide strata and community schemes with schemes, obviously with more options, all schemes can now vote and hold meetings electronically. So this includes strata schemes that have not yet passed their own resolution to move to electronic means of meeting and voting and or voting. And this change also helps all the community schemes that haven't previously been able to meet or even vote electronically. So you can actually move to this without that vote having, having occurred. So that's a good thing. So for some own owners, obviously, using the technology to vote and hold meetings will be really unfamiliar and they'll be very scared by it and, and confronted by what they need to do and not maybe not have the correct form of uh, technology that they need to do it. So... Obviously, the scheme secretary, or as it comes down to mostly, the strata manager, um, you need to take reasonable steps to ensure that all owners can actually participate in and vote at the meetings. So, you know, sometimes that's going to be more onerous than holding, you know, meetings in other ways. So, you know, but it's certainly it's it's something you can now do without having had that vote at your at your strata meeting. The next issue for the strata managers is the affixing of the common seal. So strata and community schemes, they give formal approval to documents by physically affixing the, the scheme's common seal to, the, to those documents. Now, because of the, the COVID-19 restrictions, and, you know, that, this just shows how much it's affecting every part of everybody's life. So because of those restrictions on meeting in person, it actually may not be practical, practical to get those common seals affixed to documents. So schemes are now able to sign and witness documents electronically, and we've talked about that, I think, in last week's or the week before's uh, Facebook Live. Certainly, I did a newsletter on it a couple of weeks ago, so that's always on our on our website for you to access that, uh, or through LinkedIn. We, they, we always pop them up there. So uh, they can actually sign the documents electronically, so they can give, uh, to give formal approval instead of affixing the seal. So the schemes representatives who actually do sign and witness the documents obviously we'll need to provide some additional details to confirm their identity and their relationship to the scheme. So that might be strata committee me me members, uh, you know, at least letting them know what lot they're from or whether they, you know, live separate if they're an investor. So you need some more details about who is actually signing and witnessing those, those documents if it's being done electronically. There's also some extended time periods. This is the last point I wanted to talk about in relation to strata management. Uh, it's made it more, obviously, with COVID, it's made it more difficult for strata and community schemes to respond within the normal time periods as set out by law. So to give the schemes some more flexibility, uh, government has, or New South Wales Fair Trading has actually extended some of those periods. So schemes will now have uh, six months uh, before they need to decide how money is spent from the Capital Works Fund to be, to be reimbursed to cover bills of the administrative fund. And a further change is that new strata schemes after the initial period ends, the scheme will have six months before needing to hold the first annual general meeting. So there's a couple of extensions there for uh, meeting times and responding to certain uh, set criteria within the strata and community schemes. So as I said, 
that information re electronic voting and a fixing of the common seal and extended time periods is all really important for strata managers and as I said also for property managers who may be giving advice to landlords. Uh, so I suggest that you know, this information, it all comes out from the New South Wales Property Matters e-newsletter. If you do not subscribe to that, please get onto the New South Wales Fair Trading website and subscribe to it. It only comes out when they've got something to say and it's only relevant to property. So you're not getting all the information. I've said this before. You're not getting all the information about uh you know, the toys that are unsafe or, you know, about a, a builder or a car dealer or any of that. It's just about property. So it's just about what you do on a daily basis. So make sure you've got that information and staying up to date.